Hello and welcome to Excel-BoardTemplates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel-BoardTemplates.com so you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques. And learn everything about Excel. Okay, today uh, we are following up on a user challenge that we had for Kevin. Uh, Kevin wanted to create a chart and he wanted to use this data set here. And um, what we're going, what he wanted to do is he wanted to put this column of data in the data table. And since it's text, he wasn't quite sure how to put it in there. And uh, we're going to try and show him two different ways uh, to fake that today. All right. So uh, first, what we want to do is uh, a lot of people do this because um, the Excel tables are very finicky, and you just don't have a lot of options to edit them or to do uh, much of anything else with them. So. Um, what you want to typically do in your first scenario is you want to create your chart and then you want to use the Excel spreadsheet as your data table. Let me show you what I mean by that. So um, first I'm going to create the chart. I'm just going to highlight column F. I'm going to go over to my insert ribbon. I'm going to go over to the columns button and I'm going to hit the 2D column. All right, so here's my chart. Uh, it, uh, it pretty much does what I want it to do. Um, let me just get rid of the legend because there's no need for that anymore. Uh, and then I'm going to copy this over to another sheet. So I'm just going to highlight the whole chart and hit Control X, which is to cut. I'm going to go over into another spreadsheet, a uh, worksheet, I should say. I'm going to do Control V and paste it right there. All right, so now I've moved my chart, but I don't have my table yet. So let me go get the table data that I want. So this table that I already have, I'm going to go ahead and copy it by hitting Control C. You can see the dancing ants now. I'm going to go over to the other worksheet and I am going to paste it in here as well. And I'm just going to do, um, but I'm going to do a Control, uh, well, I do it with the keyboard, but if you go up to Paste and you do Paste Special, um, we want to transpose it right there. And so as you can see, I have now um, transposed our numbers into a different type of table in the spreadsheet here um, so that we can line up each column um, with sp the specific data that we have. So um, first thing, I'm going to move this chart out of the way a little bit because it will format um, right now with the actual uh, table that I've got here. So I just want to modify this table a little bit. Let's, um, let's take out this modeling time um, and just make it a little bit smaller. And then uh, what I want to do is I typically, I'm just going to go ahead and center all of these ones. And I'm going to pick one that looks kind of good. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, well, let's just highlight this whole range. And we're going to change the borders on it to do all borders. And actually, let's clear it out first and then do all borders. That way we don't have any different borders. All right, I'm liking that right now. Oh, and I do want to wrap the text. I'm going to highlight it, go up, and wrap text. Okay, so we're pretty close now. We've got all of our uh, columns ready and set. Um, so I'm going to move the, ta the chart back up over here, and I'm just going to align it with my um, data table that I created. Now, it's not quite right, so um, what I want to do is I want to uh, shrink it up a little bit and then pull it all over uh, to get it a little bit more aligned. Let's see, we're just going to keep kind of fudging with this until we get until we get it pretty close. All right, so I have it pretty close. You can see this is column six, this is column five. Column one's kind of lined up, but see two isn't. It's uh, It takes a little bit of uh, just continual effort to try and get these lined up, but there's a few other things that I want to do. I'm going to line, um, first, I want to get rid of my horizontal uh, values on this horizontal axis. I'm going to right click on my axis, and I'm going to click Format Axis. And then over here on the axis options, there is axis labels, and I am going to check that to say none. And that way, um, because we've got our values down below. Now, um, uh, since I want to get this a little bit closer, maybe stretch it out just a little bit more, um, you can see it's kind of overlapping um, my area here <clears throat> so uh, of my table. So what I want to do is I want to right click anywhere on the chart and it says format chart area. Not anywhere, I should say, up kind of in these white areas that um, are in the chart. That's where you want to click and select format chart area. We want to do no fill in our chart area, and we want to do border colors to none as well. Click on close. Now you can see it is uh, overlapping it just a little bit better. 
Let me just move it up a hair so that we get the zero showing up above. And there we go. So that is pretty much how I would do it, um, where your table is actually not part of the chart. It is in the spreadsheet itself. So now you can see this is a part. This is an assembly. Uh, and this took two hours to build. So you can do anything in the spreadsheet um, for your uh, your information and that's one way that you can kind of fake Excel into doing a different type of data table. Now let me show you the other one that I would do. Um, so going back over here um, we are we have our data. Now what I would do and this is the the sample that I showed Kevin that he really liked the best uh, and um, what you can do is we can use multi-level horizontal categories to also fake a data table. Here's how I'd do that. So I, it ended up just being that if I go ahead and highlight all of my data and then I go up to my insert ribbon, I go over to my column chart button and I click column chart uh, and let me pull this up so you can see it a little better uh, and make it just a little bit bigger. I'm going to get rid of this legend because it's only one data point. We don't need a legend for that. It's in our title. And look, lo and behold, um, we have got all of his information. Here's part, 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 assembly, and then parts. We've got all of the information actually in the table itself. Uh, so that is one other way that you can fake a table in Excel is to use the multi-level category access for um, the horizontal. Access. So let me right click on that and click Format Access. Now, so you'll see right here on Access Options, it has multi level category labels. That is checked. If I uncheck that, um, it still works out pretty well because I highlighted such a large range of data. It puts it all together. Um, but let's undo that and go back into our Access Options. Um, now, let's change this and let's go ahead and not um, create our chart that same way. Let's say I just created the chart from end date over to our data um, and this throws some people for a loop so I'm going to show it to you right now. I'm going to create my 2D column chart and I'm going to delete my legend once again. Now what they do is they'll maybe create a chart and they say I want to check that box for multi-level categories so they select their horizontal axis, they do format axis, look it's gone. Well now we're on a date time axis and so it's gone and it's not a choice in here. Um, because Excel is saying, well, wait, I, I can probably do that date time sort of access for you, but I'm not sure what you're really doing here. Um, and it says since you don't have multiple columns in your uh, data set for the legend or for the horizontal access, it's not even a choice. You can't check it or uncheck it here. So it really throws people for a loop. Here's how if you've already created a chart and you want to add multi level categories uh, to your um, horizontal axis, here's what you need to do. Click on the format of the axis, hit Control One. Oh, no, I'm sorry, that's not how you do it. Uh, you want to go up to your design ribbon first. Go to your design ribbon, do select a data button in your data group, and you want to add, um, edit this horizontal category axis label. So click on Edit there. Now, instead of one column of data, I want to do several. So if I come in here and do Start Date and End Date, click on OK click on OK again so we don't lose our changes. Look at that, it's kind of stacked them now. Now if I right click and do format access on the horizontal axis, look, multi-level category labels. Now you'll notice this is not a date time uh, access um, format here. There all the, the mins and maxes and everything have kind of gone away. That's because it's going to treat this all as text and text only and that's when you get to see the multi-level category labels. So. Um, once again, a uh, way you can quickly create this is you can highlight the entire range, Kevin. Uh, you want to just go up and insert your column chart. After inserting your column chart, uh, what you can do is let's get rid of the legend. Um, and it's already kind of created that data table for you. All right, so that's enough for today. Tomorrow, come back. I'm going to show you how to extend this into um, even a better uh, faked data table in Excel. Uh, using the same data set. So thank you very much. appreciate uh, all your likes out there. And uh, once again, thanks for subscribing to this video channel.